Hey, how's it going everybody? I'm Scavenger. Welcome to the video today. This is going to be an instructional video for those of you who are new to Slobs or Streamlabs OBS. The question I got asked recently was how to fix the delay situation with the Elgato when you're using a capture card. So the Elgato and the Hapog HD PVR2, similar devices, both use to capture your, your console gameplay. And they both they both have a delay on them. So whatever you're doing on the game, on the console, there's going to be about a half second to a one second delay, give or take. Not 100% familiar with Elgato because I use the Hapag, but it's basically the same situation. And with that, there's about a one second delay as far as actual recording of that gameplay on the PC. So when you're streaming or you're recording your gameplay, you have a one second delay between the, the stuff that's going on in the game and your reactions and the, the things you're doing on on your webcam and through your through your audio through your microphone there's no way to fix a delay on the hapag or the elgato that delay is going to be there but you can add delay to your microphone settings and your webcam so both the, the microphone your your audio input and your video input will sync up to the game as best you can. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. This is on Streamlabs OBS. Pretty similar if you're still using old school OBS. Um, just, you know, the, the settings and, and whatnot may be located in different areas. So I'm gonna go over here to my Streamlabs OBS setup. All right, here we go. First thing we wanna do is I like to change my audio first. So I come over here where it says mixer all the way over here to this cog, click that thing. And then we have our audio setting. We have all our audio devices right here on the left of so me. I've got my desktop audio, my microphone, webcam and capture card webcam. I don't use that for audio, so I'm not going to worry about it. If you use it for audio, make sure you add the delay capture card. Not going to touch that. And that's already delayed, right? So we don't want to touch it. We don't want to delay it anymore. Remember, we can't, we can't speed up the process. We can only slow it down. So leaving the capture card alone, leaving webcam alone. I'm going to look at desktop audio and my microphone. The reason I changed desktop audio is because I have alerts on when I'm streaming. So I want those alerts to be timed right. I want that audio to be timed right. I want music if I'm playing music to be time right so when I react to it I'm not reacting late or early you know what I mean because it'll look like it's late or it'll, it'll look off to the person viewing your video so desktop audio first like I said with the Hapag there's about a one second delay on the gameplay that's just how it captures and so I want to add a one second delay to my desktop audio and one second, this is in a thousand, uh, this is in milliseconds. So one second is a thousand milliseconds. So I'm gonna put a 1000 millisecond delay. Then I go down to my microphone. I'm going to do the exact same thing. Just type in a thousand. Good to go. I like to click off of there. I don't know. That may be like an OCD thing, but once you got it in, all you got to do is close it out. You don't have to save or anything. It automatically does. So we got our audio out of the way, but if I leave it like that and I'm talking, then my my webcam and my audio won't, won't sync up. And now I've got to sync up my webcam with that. I go over here, I make sure webcam or however you named it or labeled your, your camera. Uh, you want to come over here, highlight it. So just left click on it. Once it's highlighted, right click on it. Then you go to your filters. If you don't have filters yet, I see I already have them. If you don't have filters yet, you just hit the plus sign and then you look for the filter you need. So, you want a delay. You're going to scroll until you find delay. It's going to be the video delay async. Okay. I already have it on there. So I don't need to do that. It's right here. You're going to do the same thing. You want a one second delay. So again, with that one second delay, you're just going to type a thousand milliseconds in here. Click off of it. And then you can click done. All right. Now, right now you see that uh, I have it clicked off. So it's not visible. Uh, if you're going to delay it, just make sure you make that filter visible that it's in use. All right. So there you go. You got your one second delay on your camera and on your audio that you want delayed. Then you're good to go. You can just close it out, hit record, hit stream. Everything will be, 
will be fine. One other thing I should tell you about Streamlabs OBS is that if you shut it down and then you start it up later, make sure you go in and redo these steps. Even though they save in there, sometimes they don't save, if that makes sense. Like you'll have it in there, but I'll have to go in at the beginning of my streams or before I start streaming and open up my audio settings and I'll just retype it in. That's it. That's all. You guys are synced up. You're ready to go. You're ready to stream or record and do it as professionally as possible. So if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. Let me know if there's any other tips you guys need with Streamlabs OBS and I can do another video on them. Thank you so much. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.